In this video, I will discuss three hot stocks. One to sell and book profits on for the time being, and two to buy for handsome gains in the next rally. Just a quick reminder to watch this video as the stock price is already up 43%. I am so confident I titled the video as keep observing this stock and will double in front of your eyes. Also, check out this video. I am confident that this stock will be the next 10x play when it releases its earnings for Q1 and Q2. Buying the dip is a good strategy to accumulate when investor interest is low. Once earnings and updates come out, it will move. Like this video if you enjoy the content and consider subscribing to receive instant alerts. Also, for a limited time only, you can join for free on Discord through Patreon. You will not be charged until April 30. As a benefit, you will receive early access to all of my stock picks and can access our 3x challenge portfolio. You can cancel any time before the 1st of May without being charged. The link to join is given in the description down below. Now let's get back to the video. First on the list is NEO. NEO stock is an accumulation in the dip stock, with the recommendation of swing trades based on technical analysis with your short-term shares while keeping your long-haul shares in the shelf. Now let's look at the technical charts. As expected, NEO stock price is moving again after the dip below $40. As you can see from the technical charts, after falling below its trendline support near 57 to 32 to $33, it has found a bottom near 33. NEO tested the support level three times and bounced back. When NEO bounced back twice and then hit the support level again, I made a video highlighting the buying opportunity. Now as per technical indicators, temporary profit taking is about to start again on strength near 43 to 45 levels. NEO is expected to release earnings soon and as per last quarter earnings numbers, these numbers are not expected to be blockbuster. NEO is expected to remain range bound in the short term until this chip shortage thing ends. But keep in mind that NEO below 40 is in an accumulation range. Don't be fooled by the dips. Near 35, people will think that it would dip to 30, but institutions are buying NEO in the dips because NEO is a long term winner. NEO signed a strategic partnership deal with Sinopec Shanghai Petrochemical Company Limited, which is a state owned oil and gas company. The purpose of this partnership is to construct new battery swap stations. By 2025, they aspire to develop around 5,000 battery swap stations in order to pursue their aim of having a greater share in electricity and non-oil business. Whereas NEO's target is to develop at least 500 battery swap stations by the end of this year. Battery as a service is a long-term winner for NEO, while short-term effect is too early to materialize. With this model, as the batteries are not bought, the price of the vehicle is substantially reduced, which can translate into a saving of up to around 20,000 US dollars. The battery as a service model of NEO, which allows the users to have the battery on rent basis rather than buying it with the car and replace them when they need recharging, is a one of its kind model. NEO is a winner and just needs the right mindset. Investors can trade NEO for the short term while holding some shares for the long haul. For short term buying and selling, NEO on the technical basis is recommended. Next on the list is MindMed stock, NASDAQ ticker symbol MNMD. I have a temporary sell stance on the stock and profit taking is ideal on strengths today. Buying back once the price finds support is my stance. MindMed was trading near $2 just a few days ago. It jumped to a high of 4.99 before cooling to mid 4 levels. We bought it high and then averaged down to sell on Catalyst. So according to the game plan, I'm taking profits for the moment. I will discuss its future growth potential as well because in the long run, I am bullish on it, but just want to catch the sudden run up. According to my latest video on MindMed stock, I recommended to buy near 2.8 and the dip to sell in the next rally. First, NASDAQ uplisting and then any drug update was mentioned as a potential catalyst that will move the stock price. Now MindMed is getting listed in NASDAQ and I see it as a temporary profit taking level. Because the real value of the stock lies in its drug developments and so far, there isn't any progress update. NASDAQ listing re-rates the shares to some extent, but in the longer term, it depends on the drug pipeline. MindMed has an interesting pipeline that could potentially revolutionize opioid addiction treatment and anxiety treatment via the use of psychedelic-inspired medicines. Their lead drug, 18MC, is a derivative from psychedelic ibogaine. Ibogaine on its own shows tremendous potential in extinguishing opioid addiction at its roots, unlike traditional opioid and replacement therapies. The addressable markets have been estimated to be of $100 billion globally, which include an approximately $42 billion plus addiction related, $9.6 billion plus depression related, $9.5 billion plus ADHD, $4.7 billion plus anxiety, and other psychedelics. 
The recent pandemic has also been a catalyst for such psychedelics, as mental health experts find a strong link between loneliness, depression, and drug overdose. And according to national drug abuse data, overdose has been increased by 42% since the pandemic's outbreak. MindMed is the pioneer in psychedelic-inspired medicines that have the potential to maintain the therapeutic benefits of psychedelics without hallucinogenic effects. So the future is bright if they can deliver on the promise of their drugs. Next on the list is Anovis Biopharma, ticker symbol ANVS. I am bullish on Anovis due to its upcoming Alzheimer's disease phase 2 trials data announcement in May. We first bought it near 24 and booked profit near 36 and 40 plus. Now, once again, it is down due to overall market conditions and presents an interesting opportunity. Anovis is working to solve a critical disease. 15% of the shares are owned by institutions and 40% by the management. I believe that the management has skin in the game and is working in the best interest of shareholders. But they are low on cash and will need to raise money in the coming months. This Alzheimer's drug results will be pivotal in the coming weeks and can rewrite the stock to billion dollar valuation. The market cap is tiny given the huge potential. If the data is positive, it will re-rate the stock completely. Nearly 6 million Americans, or 1 in 50, have Alzheimer's. Given the figure for the elderly population, that's a very high percentage of the elderly who have the dreaded disease. There are 44 million Alzheimer's patients worldwide. The number for Parkinson's, the other type of major dementia, is somewhat smaller, but still huge at 1 million Americans and 10 million people worldwide. According to some estimates, the total cost for treatment for dementia patients worldwide could top $1.1 trillion in 2050. However, there has been little progress with finding treatment for the diseases. From 1998 to 2018, there were over 500 failed attempts at developing Alzheimer's drugs, primarily focusing on amyloid plaque. None have been successful. Novus claims that its new approach through axonal therapy may see better results. ANVS401 attacks multiple neurotoxic proteins that result from acute and chronic injury to the brain. The company thinks that this concerted targeting of multiple neurotoxic proteins may improve axonal transport, which the company thinks is the key therapeutic target for treating dementia. My point is based upon the recent gains by the peers of Anovis Bios, like Sawa, Eli Lilly, INMB, and AVXL. If Anovis declares positive phase 2 results of its AD drug, then I see a huge rally in the stock. The successful completion of phase 2 clinical trials of ANVS 401 will provide a validation of the company's approach in two diseases and allow it to move to phase 3 trials. Given the huge target market and favorable risk and reward potential, Anovis Bio will be a target of buyout at a billion dollar valuation.